Good morning, welcome to morning prayer. I'm on, I'm on a bit early, so we'll wait for people to come on and join us. Welcome to morning prayer. And we'll just see who comes on. Not looking too bad out there this morning. Well, I've got two on. Hi, Christine. Thank you. By the way, they were much appreciated and your condolences. For those that don't know, I have lost my, my, my lovely dog, who is, was faithful companion, got up with me in the night. I suffer with fibromyalgia, which does mean that my sleep patterns are disturbed and uh, as a result of that condition and it was always neo who kept me company so um yeah um i don't have that now because murphy's quite more um shares the the murphy love around a little bit more whereas neo is definitely my little follower morning pearl morning pat Good night, Elvin and all. Good night. Morning, Pearl. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, just allow. I've got I've got my watch on charge, so I haven't to look at my phone. Morning, Caroline. Morning, Kate. Morning, Chris. Caroline and Chris. Morning, Christine. I don't know if Chris is with you, Caroline, but I'm going to say he is. Uh, we'll just let a few more come on. Should be good morning. <laughs> Sometimes predictive text pinches it, doesn't it? Morning, Kate. Morning, Pat. If you don't check when you send me an email, I come up as 11 or even more weirder ones. I always know, and certainly companies I'm very unforgiving um, with, but most people I don't mind. Quite often it makes me smile when someone goes, Dear 11. Morning, Pat. Morning, Pearl. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's... Oh, we're still not even at nine o'clock yet, so we'll allow people to come on. It does take time if you're waiting for a notification for Facebook to catch up. So um, I will just give it that length of time. What's that? Ooh. I don't know what that is. Oh, I've now dropped it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm so glad you can't see my desk. I am so glad you cannot see my desk. <clears throat> glad you can't see most of my study as well, to be honest. I'm taking people into the living room because it's a little bit, bit of a mess. Priorities. Priorities. Always priorities. Morning, Richard. Welcome to morning prayer. We'll just make sure we'll get a few more people on. It's only just nine o'clock, so we'll give it a little bit longer. How is everyone doing? Have you had a good weekend? Well, it wasn't too bad, was it? I feel I should waffle about something, but I can't think of anything to waffle. Oh, we've got standing committee. Please do pray for that. Uh, we've got the COVID vision team. We're calling it uh, the vision team now. Um, I think that has sort of just kind of um, developed we will be looking at how we can best do a consultation about our name change i know i keep promising and not delivering on that but it's covid has caused issues family my obviously family situation has caused problems um but i still want us to do that we just need to go about it the right way so that when we make that decision we don't regret it and wish we'd either chosen another one or stayed where we are. So we do want um, to do it sensitively and take our time over it. It's not going to be a, um, a quick development. So when you see new orders of service, you won't see necessarily the name, just the churches and Cole View on, on our order of service rather than Stratton team. Although I put myself down a Stratton team when I go to um, conferences and things because that's what we're known as at the moment. But we will change that. We will change that. I just need the time and space to be able to do that. And maybe we'll do that after Christmas when it goes a little bit quiet. 
before we ramp up again for um, Easter. Um, but I need to look at uh, commitment diaries and see how it's best done. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely happening. Just not, it's just going to take a bit of time to get there. Morning Pearl, I've said good morning to you. What's the time? What's the time? It's two minutes past. Let's begin. It is um, morning prayer. Why am I on evening prayer? Ew, uh, no. Evening prayer. Where is it? Right, let's turn that off and start again. Morning prayer. Yes. At last on Monday sometimes if I've messed about with the iPad it moves because you have morning prayer evening prayer which I never understand why it's called evening prayer because evening to me is sort of like seven o'clock whereas they do it three or four anyway and then night prayer but if we are with morning prayer and it is Ethel Berger Abbess of Barking's commemoration and James the Deacon companion of Paulinus commemoration we're going to look at Ethel Berger because I was interested um but I'm going to have to go to Wikipedia you know the font of all knowledge that you don't quote when you are writing a dissertation place for that information morning Mary morning Bill and Sheila welcome right now Bill and Sheila are on but I definitely know that we can start Let's light our candle. It is the beginning of the week. We can set our intentions before God for this day. And this new week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I got the psalm right, but I haven't got the readings right on the, on the beginning. I was copying down clearly uh, an evening prayer once. So, if you want to read the Old Testament for yourself, you've either got a choice of 2 Chronicles, chapter 26, verses 1 to 21, or if you want to uh, do the Apocrypha readings, which is 1 Maccabees 6, 1 to 17, I've said it before, you can choose between the two. If you have a Bible that has the Apocrypha, then it is worth a look. Don't rush out and buy one. Um, 
there's a reason why not every Bible has the Apocrypha, uh, partly for all sorts. There's lots of reasons. Uh, one of the main ones is actually there's no additional insight you're going to gain about God from reading those, though it, they are quite interesting. We are, however, going to go and look at John chapter 13 verses 1 to 11. So apologies, you've got the wrong readings um, on my announcement at the top. I might have to go back and change those. So, John chapter 13, 1 to 11. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but it is entirely clean. But is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. Here ends the reading. So, here we go. Good old John likes to set... Um, situations within Jewish festivals because they mean something and with the Jewish uh, readership who he is aiming at will pick up on those subtle meanings that we might not necessarily know if we're not from a Jewish background. Passover is, of course, um, a massive celebration for Jews. It is when finally uh, they were released from Egypt from slavery and the firstborn died of anyone that did not put the blood of that lamb on the door. We now have a different blood of the lamb, the lamb being Jesus that it will take away the sin of death or the sting of death from us. I'm not going to go too much into the foot washing, um, but it's there for a reason. It's there to discomfort leaders that get down on their hands and knees and on a Thursday, uh, Monday, Thursday, will wash people's feet because it puts us back into a state of humility. Those that wash hands, it's but a pale copy. There may be valid reasons, and we obviously won't do it at the moment because of COVID regulations and all the complications, should it still be going on over Easter. But we will, We it is there morning jamie it is there for to disquiet us to turn our general understanding of who's in charge who we we respect who deserves respect on its head and peter is mortified that jesus his leader his rabbi his uh um guru is kneeling in front of him washing the most dirtiest part of the human body of that time because they were walking around in sandals there yeah and getting murky and walking in all sorts and we're not just talking dust so it disquiets us all and that's the point
and we need it. We need the shake-ups. We need the reminders. And we need to be reminded, like the rich young man who was turned away, or who went away grieving, shall we say, um, that we can do so much, but there's always more that we can do as followers of Jesus. And um, it's very easy for us to put ourselves in different places when we look at characters that we are reading about and pick the ones we like and identify with those rather than perhaps the more awkward, more disquieting, more realistic characters that could be us should we stumble. And that rich young man is probably each and every single one of us because if we compare ourselves to what our a truly poor in developing countries, or even now in this country, we can certainly think that we are slightly better off than we think. What's getting in our way? What are we worshipping above God? Even though we don't think we are, what takes up the majority of our time each day? I'm going to leave that there. Let's have a quick look at um, Ethelba. Because she's quite interesting. She was an early Anglo-Saxon queen, consort of Northumbria, the second wife of King Edwin. As she was a Christian from Kent, their marriage triggered an initial phase of conversion of the pagan north of England to Christianity. And she founded a monastery. Let's see if there is. Yeah. So interesting. Look her up if you can. Lots of stuff on Wikipedia that uh, you know you can fairly uh, take as 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 being fairly reactive. Oh, Jamie, is it your birthday? Happy birthday. I'm not going to sing to you. I'll bless everybody with um, my silence on that one. Uh, morning, Kate. Morning, Christine. Happy birthday, boy. Welcome, Jamie. Right. Let's do some responses. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. All right, let's go to the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. All right, so Jamie says... Thank you, Elvin, Kate and Christine for your birthday wishes. I am very grateful. I hope you've got a bit of a nice um, day planned, Jamie, and it's not just all work. Let's turn to our prayers. 
If there are any updates, any prayers for places around the world that you would like prayer for, please do let me know. I find the news frustrating at the moment that we don't hear um, what's going on in other countries. We just hear these kind of sound bites from our PM and, and I don't believe them. I would much rather hear that there is a global shortage of um, um, lorry drivers from people that say, yes, there is, because I don't think there is. Anyway, um, yes. So if you have insights of countries, places, situations that need prayer, please do let me know. If... Um, um, I'll get the words out in a minute. If there's someone you would like prayer for, please do um, let uh, also add those to the list. If there's names that you hear that you um, uh, have put onto the prayer list and you know they're getting better, please do give us an update. So, let's pray. Loving God, we do lift to you our world and all life within it. As the stewards that you appointed us to be of our world, help us to do better. We pray for the COP26 um, summit that will be going on soon. We pray that all world leaders would get on side. Oh, OK, thank you, Mary. Where is that care home? I don't know that one. <sighs> yes, Lord, we do pray for this summit that all world leaders would uh, pull together to combat climate change, to stop global warming. Lord, we pray that a proper solution would be found, that even those that won't attend the summit will have their consciences um, tweaked so that they too get on side. Lord, it's not going to be easy. We are used to our luxuries, our plastics, and I can see so many surrounding me as I pray. But Lord, help us to do better. Help us to move on. Help us to put aside the comforts that we enjoy in order to protect our world for the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hayden Wick, thank you. And when God, we do pray for this... Uh, for people who are suffering from this pandemic, we particularly lift to you those in the developing world where access to medicine, sanitation, fresh water and the ability to socially distance is in short supply. We give thanks for aid agencies that go in and offer support in education and medicine and pray that that work would continue. We pray for those who have been bereaved around the world as a result of COVID. Whether that be a direct illness or as a knock-on effect as hospitals and so forth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too for this country and all that is going on here. The economic difficulties that many are experiencing. We pray for those who have now lost that £20 a week top up, for those whose furlough support has gone to an end, for those who are in risk of losing work and those who already have. We pray that they would find the support that they need. We give thanks for the Trussell Trust and to many other food banks. They will soon see a greater uptake. We give thanks for all those who have given for our harvest services over this last few weeks. 
we ask your blessing on those provisions that have been donated that they may go to those who need them most and that they will be a blessing and encouragement. Help us to keep our government to account. It is interesting to hear that most of the Tory government, our support, their financial support comes from Russia. Lord, we do pray that those that are in charge would have truly its people's best interest at heart and not be there in a position of power because of greed, because of strength, because of privilege. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Two years, Christine. Oh my God. I mean, God, we do pray for those who are separated because of COVID, whether that be through work, through illness, through living in other countries or in places where there is such difficulty. Where COVID is still running unchecked. We pray for Christine's sister and all those residents in the orchid care home or orchard orchard orchid orchid care home we pray your protection on them that the virus would not spread and we lift to you all our care homes that are locally within stratton team ministry we pray that they would be safe places for the residents and those whose loved ones wish to visit are able to in some way so that their the pain of separation is eased. Pray too for those suffering from chest infections in Weems Lodge and for those like myself unable to visit since Thursday. However, that does pale under uh, in the light of uh, Christine's situation. Lord, we do pray she would be able to visit her sister soon. And we do pray for, um, for all those whose separation means that they forget more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too for our hospitals, particularly Swindon Hospital and many others. We lift to you all those who work within the NHS and for doctors and nurses around the world who are struggling under the great strain of this pandemic and also the expected uh, resurgence of other viruses and illnesses such as flu this year. Help us all to be mindful, to keep more distance, to wear masks when necessary, to wash hands and keep our hygiene levels up. Help us not to totally react, relax and take our eyes off the ball so that we do not overwhelm our NHS. We pray that our NHS would be protected by our government, that the, need, the much needed funding and support would be increased. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We do pray for those cases and the outbreaks of COVID that seem to be returning. The lack of news stories about that situation and whether there ought to be more done. Lord, we trust the scientists and those who know best to give us the guidance and wisdom we need. Help us to disseminate what is the right approach and not fall prey to wacky ideals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our schools. 
and all those who work in the education system. We pray for all those teachers who are and lecturers who are dealing with a resurgence of COVID. We've still disrupted lessons and education. We pray for our children and young people who still are unable to sit down and have the freedom of education that we ourselves once had. We lift to you our teachers and ask your blessing and encouragement to them. Noel, Lisa, Nick, Gareth, Susan, Michael, Sue, Joshua, Chris, Rebecca, Asher, Matthew, Sarah, Heather, Marie and Michael. We pray that you protect them, TAs and all staff from this virus, keep them healthy and strong and encourage and bless them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift to you our children and young people, whether they be in education, in preschool or up into university. We pray that you would keep, they would feel safe, that they would grow in health and strength and to know you as their personal Lord and Saviour. We ask for your protection on their education. We lift to you Joel, Talitha, Grace, Emily, Lily, Jacob, Hannah, Jake, Ella, Oscar, Kerry, Anton, Callum, Phoebe, Ellie, Travis, Nathan, Ruby, Noah, Evie, Charlie, Jack, Mia, Luca, Jodam, Ethan, Aidan and Amalia. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we lift to you those now in need of your healing touch. We pray that you would draw near, bringing strength, courage, wholeness and peace. Help us, the loved ones, to be patient, to be kind, to be understanding, to be supportive and give us your peace that we entrust them into your care. Guide doctors and nurses and all those who work to bring wholeness back to all these loved ones. We pray for Mark, for Addie and her family, for William and his family, for Pauline, for Linda, for Stuart, for Beryl, for Eunice, for George and Maria, for Bob, for John, for Mary, for Mary, for Jordan, for Wendy, for John, for Janet, for Annette, for Jim, Joe and the family, for John, Liz, Dave and the family, for Daniel, for my dad Peter, for Christine's sister, for Shane, for Tilly, for Jan, for Linda and her family, for Chris, for Anna, for Mary, for Martina and Troudel, for Andy, for Catherine, for Anne, for Sarah, for Nicholas, for Martin, for Pat, for Jeff and Hilary, for Tom, for Esme, for Nilva and family, for Len, for John and Val, for Peter and Bridget, for Ken, for Rose, for Barbara, for Sylvia, for Gwen, for Christine, for Greg, Stephanie and the family, for Josie, for the Curtis family, for Leslie, for Angie and for Anne. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I mean, God, we pray for all affected by the coronavirus, for illness, isolation and anxiety around our world. 
We pray that they would find relief and recovery. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are guiding our nation at this time and making and shaping national policies. We pray that these decisions would be just and wise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all the medical researchers and scientists that through their skill and insights, many new vaccines and medicines will be found in order to support and eradicate many illnesses along with COVID. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we do pray this day for those around our world who are vulnerable and fearful, for those who are gravely ill and those who are dying. May they know your comfort and peace. We pray for those watching their loved ones suffer. Draw near and bring your grace and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we do commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of our God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our collect for today. O oh God, for so, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so let's pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with me for another week of morning prayer. Have a good day, Jamie. Make sure that it's filled with lots of fun, laughter and blessings. Lovely to see so many of you still joining me for morning prayer. There is morning prayer led in person on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday over in the community uh, centre. Details of that are in the pew sheet. Do go along to that and support that if you would prefer that or stay with me and Mark online like this. Um, it's a real blessing to be able to do this with you all. Thank you. The blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love today and always. Amen. Stay safe and stay healthy. Right. I think this is what I'm supposed to do with the candle. <laughs> you can report back to me if I'm doing the right thing because I have no clue what I'm doing with candles I normally let them burn down interestingly but I'm trying to protect this because this was a gift and it's a much appreciated gift um, but it is starting to go a little bit lopsided as you can see I probably need David's magic touch to uh, to make this candle last as long as it can mind you it did the last one lasted about 18 months so Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye, everyone.